Hi everyone, welcome to Manifestation Monday. How are we doing? Let me know if you're here. I think I have the new system figured out. Yay, a little post-Mercury goodness for us. So I was just doing a little bit of Googling, yes, on the Perside meteor showers that's happening. Hi, Lena, welcome. And because I didn't know, I don't know much about that kind of stuff. So I thought I would Google, heard about it today, thought, hmm, actually it was more a vibe, more intuitive hit to go ahead and use this meteor shower energy. So I don't know if you've been, if you saw that and then, so what happens is I decide something and then the next few hours, I just kind of get flooded with information and vibes and whatnot. So I'm kind of pulling that energy in already. So I was doing a little bit of uh, Googling to learn about it and find out what the heck it is. And uh, they're called the Perside Meteor Showers because they're from the constellation Perseus. And apparently it'll be like fireballs in the sky, not like the shot, my fellow drinkers. And it's supposed to be, um, <laughs> Terry says, we're stardust. We, it's supposed to be happening tonight. So if you can get, if you're in the Northern hemisphere and you can get outside tonight, they say between like 2 a.m. and go do that. So anyway, all right. Alrighty, already. So let me know when you hop on and I thought I had an agenda here. Let's see. Here we go. Yay, we're in Manifestation Monday. So if you are new and just joining, never been here before, I am Jill Hoyrup, Master Psychic, Intuitive Healer and Coach, helping you learn how to tap into your intuition and really hone your skills, really improve your skills so that you can use intuition in your daily life. And I just did a blog post about that today. I listed eight ways I've been using my own intuition in my daily life. And of course I thought of a ninth one after the fact, but in any case, um, <clears throat> intuition is great because you really can start figuring out what your own life it's all about when you can tune in to your own inner guidance. And so we have the chance to do that. So I do that. If you want to join the Facebook group where we do all things intuition, all things spiritual gifts, spirit guides, guardian angels, mediumship, we talk about it all. Oops. Oh, guys, it's not showing. Oh, there you go. Sorry, new system. So there, if you do a hashtag ignite your intuition in the search bar, you will discover the group, okay? And I just wanna give a little shout out to the YouTubers that are watching this after the fact and um, say thank you for joining uh, after the fact. So the reason why these work in the replay is because the energy container is all set. It's all set for us before um, I even start to go live. It's how I do my work. So <clears throat> you can, um, Sorry, I'm just learning. I can click on something and see who's who's on, who's here, or who's, I guess it's more who has given me a like or something. Okay, cool. So um, anyway, we're doing all sorts of stuff over there in the group. So join us, join us, join us if you're not there already. And today we are doing Manifestation Monday. It happens every week. Uh, I have not committed to a set time. I actually use intuition every Monday to decide what, what time it should be. So there you have it. Another example of intuition. So um, Manifestation Monday is something I created not just because it has a snazzy name, haha, but because it's a great way to start the week with really tuning into your, uh, tuning into your intentions and getting clear on them, putting them out to the universe. Hi, Marie. And really what we do here in this half hour, 45 minutes, an hour session is, hey, Mo, is we tap into that. And, and what we do is an energetic process I created called Zap It Up. And what that process entails is taking that intention that you want and making sure it's congruent within your physical body and your energetic world as well. Then we do the official zap it up, which is we ignite it, 
we expand it and we magnify it. So we're putting all this energy and activation into this intention so that it will actually happen. Like imagine that, right? So the first step is the congruence because if you're not congruent with what you're wanting, then you're not ever gonna get it. You're gonna think that you want it, but you're not gonna get it. See, the dog agrees. Um, hi, Esther. yay, you're here. I think it's late for you. Oh no, it's not too late, 10 o'clock. Okay, hi, Renee. Welcome, you guys. I'm seeing all the comments today. So I'm at the, I'm at the last, the last whatever, seeing the comments. So keep typing comments so I can test this to see if it's, if I can still see them. Because remember last time I got hung up and I couldn't see them. All right. So is everybody have their intention ready? And you don't have to share it if you don't want. Um, we'll still be tuning in energetically. I'm not going to like violate your space, your energy and find out what it is. I don't care that much about what your intention is, but I do care about the energy of it. So I am going to be tuning into the energy and making sure everything's in alignment. Hey, Christina. Okay, Esther's saying the timing is good. Good, good, good. Um, all righty, awesome. So are we ready? Are we ready? Tell me, tell me. So start putting your in, your intentions down. I'm just going to take a minute. So let's uh, let's all take a minute here and do a breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. I always like to breathe this way to connect us up, kind of get me centered after I've been babbling a little bit. And then you and I get connected. You get connected to yourself. So let's just take a minute and do a few of those deep breaths. <sighs> You want to sigh or ohm or something. I'm drinking my sun tea today, you guys. I've been making sun tea almost every day, every other day, out in the sun. I've got ginger, mint, and natural herbs. So when we do this work, oh, Okay, so the last comment I see is Esta telling me it's a good time for her. So uh, send me some more comments because I'm not seeing them anymore. Let me see if I can scroll on this thing. I don't know how to scroll. Still, I'm still in the beta test, you guys. So <clears throat> let's see. I don't see anything else after that one. So okay. If you guys are putting your intentions down, then yay. <laughs> Just gonna be tuning in energetically, okay? We're gonna start the zap it up. I'll check back in in a second here. So we did have some uh, intentions that came over from the post in the Ignite Your Intuition group. Hashtag Ignite Your Intuition if you wanna join. And that one was paying off bills was for one person and um, manifesting a good first date this week for another person. So that anything you want to manifest, you guys, we can do it. So I don't see any more comments after Essa's timing comment. So shoot me some more hellos or something so we can test this. <clears throat> and let's see, just going to try. Yep. I don't want to talk to help desk right now while I'm talking to you guys. So let's keep going. All right. So again, the zap it up process is a delicious signature process created with energy to specifically get you aligned with what you're wanting to create and then basically set up the energy around it, underneath it to help support it. So if you haven't already, I'll get to them after, apparently, because I'm not going to be able to see you guys, the comments. Why? I see Julie's hello. I see Mona. And then it stops. Okay. Oh, 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 you guys, breaking news. Hold on. 
I just saw the, I don't have to know how to get it back. There was the scroll bar, but it's a disappearing scroll bar. But it just showed up for a second. Where did it go? Okay, so anyway, if I don't talk to you now, I'm still not seeing your intentions. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. It's as if it's still Mercury, right? I'm not seeing your in actual intentions. I'm not going to see anything past this point, what you comment, because I can't scroll down. <laughs> so it just came back for a second. I don't want to mess with too much because knowing me, I'd probably like disappear. Okay, so let's get our intention. And this will be good because I don't I don't have to know what yours is, but I will be tuning into it energetically. But I did want to get some feedback when we pull in. I'm gonna I'll go back to the comments after and talk to you guys. I'm so sorry. Um because I want to know how you guys are feeling this meteor shower when we pull it in, because it's really interesting. Um, they're talking about uh, going out and seeing it in the middle of the night tonight and that it should be a light show in the sky. So that sounds really cool. But in any case, if you're not awake for it or you're in a different hemisphere, we're going to be pulling that energy in and using it. So imagine, so imagine what a meteor shower looks like that you've probably seen from the movies if you haven't seen one in real life, which I haven't. And imagine, so let me just read you what one of these things said that I Googled. It says that it'll be 100 meters per hour, I believe. And 100 meters per hour at its best, it's gonna peak tonight. And <clears throat> well, I don't know what to compare it to, but it says that it will not be quite as spectacular as in other years. So it could, will be a, a striking show fast and bright meteors, okay, often leave a long wake of light and color behind them as they streak across the, the sky. NASA notes the shower is also known to produce fireballs, which are larger and brighter than your average meteor streak, okay? So I think that's pretty darn cool. So imagine the energy behind a meteor shower. Let's just not start the zap yet. Sorry, I'm so hot and sweaty. Um, let's tune into this energy of the meteor shower. And I, I can't see your comments, but feel free to comment <laughs> and I'll talk to you after. Um, okay, so, and if you don't know how to feel something, you can just say, what would it feel like to feel this per side meteor shower or a meteor shower, okay? It doesn't have to be this one. So you're just asking, show me what it feels like to feel this meteor shower. And you're just allowing that feeling to come to you, that energy to come to you. <laughs> so I'm feeling it almost like bubbling up from the ground and coming up my body, up my legs where I'm standing. I'm already holding on to the stressor where I'm <laughs> where I'm at because you know I, I always sway and lose my balance with the logs standing. But. Um, Wow, it's a very, I'm kind of comparing it to the Master 22 energy we had a couple weeks ago. It's very soft, but it there. it's like, it's almost snowballing. I'm feeling a snowball effect with pulling this energy in. Does anybody else feel that too? Man, I really wish I could see you guys. Um, see your comments. So... So if you think of a meteor shower lighting up the sky, right? And if it's moving 100 meters per hour, I guess that's fast, right? Um, that's pretty powerful. So let's wrap our brains and our energy around that for a minute because that is the energy we're going to be using to create our intentions today. That is the energy we are going to be using to ignite and solidify and really activate what we're trying to create. So I'm just going to sit with this a little minute longer to pull it in. And I'm going to actually send it, send a little blip of it to each of you so that you can feel what I'm talking about. Here it comes. It's so, I don't even know if you're feeling, cause it just feels like it's kind of trickling towards you. And then, 
like it just I don't know I feel like it's in disguise I not not that it's a bad thing but I feel like it's not really showing what it is does that make sense I feel like it's the power of it is hidden and I feel like it's going to actually come out more when we're at that step where we're bringing it in but I just wanted everybody to have a little taste of it right now a little feeling of it is it is, can I do see the hearts and likes and stuff. So if you are still on and want to show that you're still here, I do see people are here. So um, thank you. And uh, I don't know how long you are still here, but uh, you can sure let me know. Okay. But I had this all figured out today and now there's one more thing to figure out. Okay. So now that we're good, does everybody have their intention? I was, I was trying to do a couple things so I could see the edge of this thing. It's not working. Okay, Mona, yours is the last. Mona's in the middle of the night where she is. Oh, geez. Okay, girl. That's dedication right there. 2 a.m. in the morning for you. Um, all right, so we've got our intentions. So the first step, like I said, is we're getting congruent. We're gonna get your physical body congruent and your energetic body field aura congruent with what you're wanting. And the reason why we do this is because we might be flitting along in life thinking, you know, I want this, I want that, da, da, da. And then we're all mad, like this didn't come yet, I didn't get this. Well, you weren't in alignment with it and or you didn't really want it and or you wanted it and then you shifted out of wanting it. So those are three off the top of my head that I can think of of why you wouldn't be getting what you're wanting. So this is like an extra step to really align you with what you're wanting. So I've not yet had the experience in one of these Monday manifestations that somebody is not congruent and it completely cannot get congruent. Everybody when I tune in is typically already mostly congruent, if not all the way. So just to let you know, we would deal with that when it happened. And I would probably say, if I could tell who it was, I would probably say, is that really what you want? Or let's tweak it. Sometimes it's a matter of having a different wording or phrasing. Okay. Like if you're doing an I am statement or I easily create this or that type of thing. Okay. All right. So tuning in now to everybody. There we go. Everybody's feeling good, of course, and aligned. I know many of you have already done this before, so you're already, you're probably picking similar things that you've done in the past, which is totally fine. You might be tweaking it a little bit from how you've done it in the past, and that's totally fine too. So, um, let's see. All right. How's everybody feeling? <laughs> Tell me so I can't see you. Darn it. Okay. We're heading on to the next step. I'm really trying, I don't know how else to get this to work. So the next step is to, the next step is to, um, sorry guys, totally distracted. Now we're officially zapping it up and I've got it on the screen, I've had it on the screen for like five minutes, okay. So here's our zap up process, okay? We're going to ignite it, then expand it, then magnify it. We are now bringing in the meteor shower energy. So hold tight, hold on to your britches, fasten your seatbelt. Because I feel like it's gonna start kind of slow, like nothing's happening and then really pack a punch at the end. So tell, let me know what you feel and I'll come back to the comments when, when I'm all done and off the live, I'll come back and comment or answer you guys. Okay, so gosh, I does anybody feel that? And I'm feeling it like now I'm feeling it coming up from my stomach and moving up. Kind of mostly staying like in my torso area right now. So curious if you're feeling that too in that location. You can feel it somewhere else, it's totally right, but it's always if anybody feels similar or the same, right? Okay, igniting. And so for some reason, the last few weeks, they've done like a rocket takeoff for everybody. So literally like underneath you is the fire. They're lighting like a big match, lighting this 
rocket of desire, as Abraham would talk about. So literally lighting up your rocket of desire, igniting it. Okay. More deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth for me. A couple of you got off kilter there. Not off kilter, but uh, like you needed to be centered again. So bringing you back. Okay. There we go. Everybody's good. So now <clears throat> everybody's ignited. So they're bringing in this meteor shower energy in stages. Okay, so each stage that we go through in the Zap It Up, they're bringing in that meteor shower. It's really interesting. Um, the seg, it's all, so it kind of goes back to what I was saying about like they're building up to it, right? They're building up and adding more because now I'm feeling it come faster the second time. So now we are expanding what you're wanting. So we're expanding that intention. And so imagine yourself completely congruent with this intention. So it's like, it is who you are. You are embodying this whole intention. So now you're expanding the energy of it. So you can actually see yourself expanding on an energetic level, okay? We're not talking about blowing your body up or anything. We're talking about the energy of you, the essence of you and this intention is expanding with more of this meteor shower. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I need to hold on tighter for this next step. Okay. So now we're ready to move to the magnify step. Hold on, <laughs> like this. I'm holding on. Um, okay, let's see what, uh, I need to use my hands though, so. All righty. So now the magnification step is when it's almost like an expansion haha, of the expansion stage, but it's actually pulling and pushing and moving it out into the universe. So if you can imagine yourself still there where you are expanded and now you see yourself going out into the universe in this expanded state, we've never really done the visualization like this before. So let me know how you're liking it because I just realized you guys may not be feeling the same thing I feel or see it or whatever. So I guess I'm teaching you how to. Okay, so, <clears throat> so as we expand, you're going, you're going up, you're going out, you're going down, and it's everywhere. Okay, so that's how you can picture it and feel it just magnifying. And now they're putting in the meteor shower energy. Deep breaths. And I feel like I need to do like a moment of silence right now because it's really, I feel it's really intense. I can't tell you, I don't know if I have words to describe. I'm not tingling. I'm not, um, I, it feels very solid. Different than grounding, solid though, okay? Is anybody else feeling the solid feeling? It's like a very powerful, like I have all my power, don't mess with me, this is so happening, I'm getting what I want. It's a very confident, very powerful, very um, solid, solid is the word for it. So let me know if you're feeling that too. Okay. Um, I'm just going to Okay. Sorry guys, I wanted to play with this again for a second while we were letting that energy seep in. Okay. Still not working. All right. <sighs> I'm just supposed to sit with this for a minute so everybody can sit. Oh, I'll take a minute to do a commercial break. If you have some sort of medical issue and you need to check with your doctor first about drinking water, please do. 
I don't want to get in trouble for telling you to drink water when we do these energy things, <laughs> even though our wa you know, our body's 80% water, so we got to replenish, especially when we're using energy the way we do in these. All right. So, still magnifying you guys. So, I'm I'm expecting to see a bunch of comments when we stop the live and I can go back to Facebook and look. I'm expecting to see so many comments about I just got what I wanted. Oh, manifested it right now because this has happened before, remember? But for some reason this went like in the next couple days, I don't know. I just feel like if you don't already feel confident about this intention, you are. This this meteor shower energy is going to like integrate and sit with you and expand inside you and be showing you the ways to do it or ideas will come or confidences you will feel and you will feel that power you will feel that solidness i also feel a very strong sense of it's not grounded but it's like i'm standing you know on my own two feet haha i'm standing I'm standing and able like there's there there is something to be said for that phrase like I'm standing alone I'm standing on my own two feet um, I'm still standing like isn't that an Elton John song like there's just this standing this feeling of stand, standing tall right standing strong standing free so if any of that's resonating with you see if you feel that too see if you feel that energy okay they're still going, so we're not done yet. Is everybody done? So everybody's got this magnifying energy and this meteor shower energy at its full tilt. It's full shower strength right here. And let me know how you're feeling with it. Apparently I should have. I should have a maybe talk to the online chat while we were doing this. All right. I think next time will be the third time I've used this new system, so that'll be the charm, right? I'll be able to really see what you guys have been saying. You guys, I miss you. Okay, <clears throat> they're still going. They're still going with this, so let's see what else I can say about it. I'm actually swaying a little bit now. I got my arm down for support because I'm always moving my hands. So I feel feel things and work with things like this if you ever see me doing this. Let's take a little commercial break. And I would just like to tell you <clears throat> that if you haven't yet and want to, we're doing practice intuition over in the Ignite Your Intuition group. Hashtag Ignite Your Intuition on any Facebook search bar or post. I think you can even post it and then you click the link to get there. If you would like to know more about me, there we go. Delicious.com is where that's at. So be happy to see you there. Don't you worry, that website will be updated soon. It needs an update, but... <clears throat> It has all the pertinent info that you need right now. Okay, we're starting to, it's starting to, uh, we're starting to tone down now. Is ever just, did you guys just feel the dip? Did you just feel it kind of settle and like, I felt it kind of just dipped. Not like Big Dipper, haha, or astronomy, but I felt it shift shift out so i'm curious if you felt that way too so after this ends you guys if you want to stay on for for a few minutes and i'll go check your comments i'll be i'll be there in a in a couple minutes if you want to talk you know talk a little bit more with me so <laughs> one th so this is good for me because i learn like it's really boring to do a facebook live with nobody <laughs> like when you're not talking i really like talking to you guys who would have known? So, okay. All right, we're all done with the magnification process. Whew. Okay, let's do an, a couple more deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Whew. Yeah. Whew. 
some water if you're allowed. I say that because it was brought up that somebody got in trouble by their doctor for drinking water because they have kidney problems or something. So I guess it's a real thing. Seems silly that you have <laughs> that we're at the stage in life where you have to, uh, you know, cover your cover yourself legally by not saying don't drink water. Only drink water if you're allowed by your doctor. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's just, I kind of want to do a little bit of smoothing, smoothing out energy now because <laughs> this was a big one. I don't know if you guys felt that way too, but let, you'll let me know in the comments if you felt this was a big one. Um, yeah. So what I want to do, what we want to do is send some like balancing energy in to kind of curb that well, I'm still going to call it a solid feeling because that is what that meteor shower energy brought in, but just it feels so big and heavy a little bit now that we're at the end. So I want to make that a little bit lighter again. I don't want anybody going away feeling like they're all bogged down by what we just did. So <clears throat> this has been really fun because we're I'm just taking whatever energy is out there in the world at the, the day that we do it. And I'm really digging on it. Let me know if you're liking that too, because starting to do it with the 22 master day energy, I don't know, brilliance. How did I even come up with that? But I like it. I like using these different energies and why not? They're right there for us to use. So, okay. Awesome guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. And I will, end this now and I'll be right over in the comments to say hi to you and then this will soon be up on YouTube a little bit later today and you can go ahead and comment and I would love your comments and you're subscribing and you're clicking the button to get notifications and then I can comment on your comments too okay remember to rock your roar you guys and I will see you next time <laughs>